if I can tell you a couple key points is for me, I make sure that I make a full shoulder turn. I think every good player or every good amateur wants to do that. And once I get the shoulder turn back, I don't think about the change of direction. It just happens. But once I start coming, my hips will come this way, but my club does not follow my hips, therefore getting no power. So what I try and do is get the club up here. I clear my hips, but I release the club going down the line. But when I say release, I don't hold on this way. Otherwise, you're going to hit it a mile to the right. So if you can learn to clear your hips a little bit and let the club go down the line and release it towards the ball, there's a point where I think about once I make contact, then I feel like I'm releasing the club. So it'll be what I call past the ball. So once again for me, I get the club back, and once I come down here, I'm clearing, and my point of release is actually at the ball, not back here. You're holding your angle. Once I get here, I go at it with pretty much, it doesn't look like it, but I go at it with everything I have. So the first thing I try and do is get the club going away from the ball as slow as I can. And then I threw the ball, I'm trying to hit it as hard as I can. Yeah. And I can relate, because what happened is a lot of times, I get up here and I just drop the club inside and swing at it. And my whole life, good back or bad back, I, used, I could get the club up here and bring it right back down to the ball and clear to the left. And what this practice routine would be was just come in and do this. And so it's, I really haven't gotten out of it, but I kind of can get the club back down at the ball a little better. But that's my routine. It's, it's really, I've had it forever and I've been stiff forever. So I rely on, same thing, getting the club, in a, you know, I have a strong grip, which helps me get the club this way easier, uh, instead of, you know, making a, a, a big turn back away from the ball, a la most tour players. But I have a stronger grip, so I can get the club cocked much easier. And I think a lot of amateurs have stronger grips, which helps them. So I rely on just making a turn with my shoulder. I'm not so worried about where my lower body goes on the backswing. My problem is a lot of times I don't move the shoulder and I go just like this. And the club looks great, but I haven't moved my upper body. So if I can get that part down, and then once I come down, my lower body is just going as hard as I can to try and get through the ball and then release the shot, I felt like I tried to hit it 80%, but everything went well, and I got the ball, I got the club to the ball really square, and I was aggressive through the shot. But a lot of times, if you do swing, or as we say, steer it, you don't want to be slowing down through the ball, because any miss will make the ball curve a heck of a lot more. So I always try and speed up through the ball no matter what. I, even if I tee it high on a par 5 and swing as hard as I can, I still am going through the ball as hard as I possibly can.